and one, two, three. And he throws a banana and hits himself, that fool. Hello and welcome everyone to the final round of the Mario Kart Tournament powered by HGTC Audio Video. And after 15 rounds of fierce Mario Kart racing, it comes down to two racers going at it for all the mushrooms. My name is Joseph Nash and to my left is Stan Schwadek and we will be your announcers for this sure to be action packed race. Indeed, Joseph, these two racers have been through the <laughs> been through some fierce competition and it all boils down to which of these Mario Kart MVP MVPs will be walking away with all the coins and the trophy. I agree. So now without further ado, let's announce your finalists for this Mario Kart race. First up to the controllers, he is the man who has sliced and diced his way to the finals and put the IT in victory. He hails from the information technology class, cruising on in with his main link. Give it up for John Comerford. Next up to the controllers is the man with the Jughead hoodie and the, the man with, who has become the shining star in the tournament with his tune to the boots. Hailing from the audio and video, video production class is the man, the myth, the legend, Zaul Sabata. And it looks like they're about to get started. This is sure to be an action-packed race, and I can't wait to see where they will go, who will take the cake to win these amazing trophies. Uh, Let's get started. Okay. Starting out on Bone Dry Dunes, we have Saul repping his amazing Rosalina and John with his favorable link. And it looks getting the boost off the line. Okay, it looks like Saul has got the block and what he's gonna get, he's got the coin and John has got a mushroom coming in first with the drift. Both of these players uh, tend to utilize their drifting capabilities and it ultimately works out very effectively. Especially with Saul and the bike. Every time I see the bike come on the course, I always see those very smooth drifts. So we can- like Saul is taking first place here, barely ahead of John. John having the green show though, could give him a chance to retake that first place. Yeah, definitely. If he gets that sniping just right at the right angle, and it looks like he's got three of them now too, so he can possibly get three shots on him. He can also use those as defense, but that's really mainly only if he gets ahead of Saul. Yeah. Saul decides to use anything against him. Especially if he hits it off the wall and just manages to hit him on the side, or hell, even come up front of him. But we'll see. Going into lap two, Saul is maintaining his first place with that green shell, using it as a defense just in case John has anything up his sleeve. Especially with John, he's just holding on to those uh, fellas. It looks like he's going to try to use them as close as he can to when he gets to Saul. Lacking behind a little bit. Decides to get rid of all three of them. What do you think about that move there? He gets granted a yeah, it, mushroom. It's, right. Yeah, it's probably best for him because if he didn't get rid of them, he would have been stuck with them the entire game. And from the looks of it right now, uh, it's possible he won't even be able to catch up to Solo, but it's not lose all hope. three mushrooms. Wow. All right. That if he can use those right, okay, he's using one, two, and just get out of the dirt. He uses the three and looks like he got, he's got the plant now. Lap three out of three. Solo is maintaining a strong, steady first place lead here. Not looking too good for John as of now. Although it is only the first round, so yeah. there's plenty more that could be Yeah, exactly. Here. Best two out of three. But what do you think about uh, Saul with his drifting and all that? Saul, uh, throughout every single match of the 15-plus uh, rounds that they've each played, Saul is quite skilled on the bike. And not only that, he's also skilled uh, with the maps that he plays on. He seems to be very familiar, knows every in and out of the map, and exactly what to do at the right moment. Same goes for John. Okay, it seems John is catching up here. He's not too far behind. Ooh, he's like right on his tail, but he's getting caught in the dirt, and whoa, he's like right on top of him, but it looks right. like Saul's gonna take this round. First round gets to Saul. Wow, what do you think about that match? 
Oh, that was actually pretty close. But um, with Saul and Son of the Drifts, and they also got caught in the dirt a couple times. Mm -hmm. So they, it was just that. But besides that, it was all good. I agree. I agree. And, you know, you notice throughout the entire matches, uh, going back again, Sal using his drifts, he, he really knows how to uh, work around the corners and utilize his capabilities All in right. this section. All right. It looks like we're at Moo Moo Meadows this time, and the only problem I see with this is the cows. They're exactly. unpredictable, like extremely unpredictable. And even a shell can't attack them, so we're going to see how this works out for them. And the worst part is sometimes the cows can be right around the corner where Saul and John both like to use their Yeah, exactly. Thing. You're going to turn the corner and then boom, right there. Right into a cow. Mm -hmm. Worst way to go. Okay, so it looks like we got Saul coming here in the blocks and see what he gets, and it looks like he's get the banana, banana peel. peel. Oh, they wow. both go down. It looks like we got John coming in first. Bumping into each other. They are neck and neck right now. Ooh, John going to the grass, slowing his wheel down just a bit. So will maintain first place. If they can get these drifts right, because I can tell with just by the map structure, and what we see right now is that there are going to be a lot of drifts they're going to deal with. The banana peel. It looks like Sal is going to use his banana peel as a defensive mechanism, like he's always done in the past. And so if John gets a good lucky shot on him, he can probably even slip him up. Goes and it's just a man. So I'm going in the lap two out of three in the second round here. Saul keeping that first place lead, making sure not to let John get ahead of him. Oh, it looks like John. Neck and neck with that Ooh, red almost shell. with Could the. Could do some serious damage. Barely missed that banana peel, saved his life in the end. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, using that banana peel, I should probably start doing that more often when I play these matches because that's a pretty smart tactic, using it as a defense, especially when it comes to the red shells. All right, let's see what John can do with his green here. Kind of slow pace match. Looks like Saul is going to take first place again going into third. Oh, Saul gets hit by the boomerang. And they both hit the blocks and see what they get. Interesting. Ooh, just Even barely now, missing the, the cow. the drifting still around the cows is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Usually with those tight turns with the cows, because they can close right the gap, but it seems they know what they're doing. We got John coming off the ramp here, and Both can he hit the, the next one? Shell. So, notice whenever Sal is in first place, if he gets a shell at all times, he always manages to keep it behind him. But it looks and like with that snipe, oh, Ooh, to disrespect. John taking the second round, or not John, Saul taking the second <laughs> round victory. Interesting concept here. All right. Okay, I got to say, that was a pretty uh, tough one, especially with... Um, the cows, I'm surprised they managed to even dodge uh, all of them. And that last shot at the end of the green shell. I know, not, not only that, that but you notice whenever Sal's in first place, if he gets a shell or banana, he always uses his defense because he knows if John gets another shell, he's going to want to take him out of the lead. But going in here into the third round, Warriors Wario Stadium. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they can do. Both of them about to come off the line. Three, two, Easily both getting one. the boost. They both get the boost. Right. Saul maintaining first lead right now. Looking in the box to see what they get. John landing with a red shell. Oh, using it as right a snipe it. against Saul. Oh, John beautiful. takes first place. Okay, it looks like these are going to be a lot of bumps. If they don't hit the next round, if the next go around, if they don't hit any of these ramps, they could be possibly exactly. a big mess. John again with two green shells. Will he play it the way Saul does and use it as a defense or not? Oh, John Looks like gets he's going to snipe him out again. He missed the first one there, but he got yeah, the second definitely. one. Sorry, it's all okay, good. now let's see if John can use this green shell as a defensive mechanism just like Saul, but we'll see. Interesting. Saul keeping the shell in the back. Going to lap two. Looks like none of them are, are going to. Like they're going to keep at it with the uh, with the double shell. Oh wait, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, right against Snipe. the wall. Saul takes first place again. Oh, missing just a few and oh, another right slide by the mud John. Too, and John getting the double block. So let's see what he's get. Looks like he's got the coin and the banana peel. Is All he right. going to use it as defense or offense? Let's see Saul, acting like he doesn't know what the map is. <laughs> All off out of the map. 
This could be costly. This is different for Saul. This is the first for me to see. <laughs> Saul is not used to being in second place for very long. Again, running into the wall, slowing himself down. I'm telling you, those ramps can really give you an advantage, or they can just completely they mess up your day. Right the map, and we're on the final lap, and John hitting the block and see what he'd get. It's most likely going to be something small, just a coin. Yep. But he's still coming in first, especially a good head and long soul. Sal using the mushroom. Let's see if we can push him back up into the lead. Hitting Thanks. all two boosts here, giving him a great advantage, maintaining that first place lead. Interesting, runs into the barrier. This could be a chance for Saul to catch up. Oh, he's like and right on his tail. There is and Saul. John hitting the fireball. All right. Okay, now these ramps over here almost messed up Saul just a little bit, just with the wall and the Seems to be throwing that, so. John off a bit too. With Saul taking the victory in the third round. I gotta Finally. say, that was an extremely close one. I gotta say, those are a bunch of good matches, especially a bunch of close ones for John. But it was just some of those minor bumps and minor uh, like like areas where he was just stopped. And which could have cost in the game, which it mm -hmm. did, but it still it was still was a very tight match near the ending of the third of the third matches of every single one. Exactly. And at this point, we'd like to call over our first place winner, which is Saul Zapata. We should probably bring all the trophies. Oh, okay. All right. Saul, you've made it through 15 rounds of hard your smart kart racing what does it feel like to claim first place after all this time honestly it feels very like shocking because um you know like i never thought like i would come this far right. uh it's just like very very new to me and i'm really excited for it were there yeah. any moments during any of the matches where you felt a little bit concerned maybe john was gonna was gonna come back on you um Probably in Wario Stadium, mm. uh, I had some you know, minor accidents uh, during the race, but uh, I actually thought that John was actually going to beat me in that racetrack, and I managed to pull through. Yeah, you yeah, had a couple of close ones there, especially with that snipe at the f at what was it with the uh, Moo Moo um, map. Windows. Yeah, right at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, Moo Moo Meadows, sorry, but. Right when you sniped in at the back, I gotta say that was probably one of the best uh, snipes that I've seen, especially coming from behind, and especially at the end. Ooh, the disrespect. Ooh. Yeah. Not wish that was me. But uh, but congratulations with winning the tournament. Thank and you. here is the first place trophy. Oh, right. sweet. Yes. And we thank you very much for participating in this uh, tournament, and we're happy that you could play. And very excited for you to have claimed first place, and we appreciate you for coming out. Thanks for Definitely having me here. We no hope to and see a, you next year. And a special shout out to the Basel Band of Gold for supporting oh, yeah. me. All right. They they always been there. All right. Of course. Thank you. All right. And now we'd like to introduce our second place winner, which is John Comerford, and get his thoughts on the game and what he thinks about it. All right, John. So, what were your thoughts throughout it, throughout the entire competition, making it this far? I kind of was doing it just to do it, you know? Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting really to go anywhere with it, just having fun. Exactly. Were there, uh, was there any things you wish you could have done different? Maybe you messed up along the way. Was there anything you wish you could take back? Just all the little getting stuck in the grass and the right, mud. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. With, the, with the drifts, I've seen you guys uh, do insane drifts at points where I know I can't even do it. And even then, I'm, I was just like surprised to see you guys get stuck in the grass and stuff like that because I expected every single drift to be perfect when it was perfect. So yeah, that was the, all the most of the drifts that I've seen were all really good. So yeah, it's just a little rough, especially yeah. with that fireball on Wario. Yeah. Oh yeah, with that those things are unpredictable. Same yeah. with the cows. I'm surprised you guys managed to uh, weave through the I those had a cows. Few close calls yeah. with those. Yeah, exactly. You're barely touching them. And as we've done all throughout the uh, all the tournaments, we've set the maps on random. Were there any maps that you were kind of unfamiliar with, or anything that you felt like you had the upper hand in? I felt good on Wario Stadium because I've played that one on the DS. Mm -hmm. But dry the first one, the Drybone Desert, that got me. You were kind of didn't know the ins and outs as yeah. well. Gotcha. Well. Uh, we appreciate you for coming out, and we would like to present you with this uh, silver second place trophy. We appreciate your hard work nice. and effort, and we appreciate you for coming out and playing throughout all the rounds. Congratulations.
And thank all of you for coming out and watching this. We hope you enjoyed. Um, maybe next year we'll have another one. Thank you all. I've been Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Stan. You guys, every single one of you, thank you for supporting, and have a nice day.